Hi, my name is Rich Bassini from RGBC.com. And if this is the first time you come to my channel or checking out my eBay auction, I just want to introduce myself and let you know that I do demo videos, intro videos, and sneak peek videos. Today I'm going to be doing a demo video on the Dell Photo 926 printer. And I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to start right from the beginning to the end. <clears throat> first off, I just want to tell you a little about the printer. Um, if you are the lucky buyer of this printer, it does not come with any software or user manuals. However, it is new. Um, I had removed all the plastic wrappings on the uh, printer to take pictures and stuff. So if you are the bidder, or the lucky buyer, I should say, uh, you will not be getting it with all the uh, plastic wrappings that was originally on it. Um, there, you, if you are the lucky buyer, you will have to buy two cartridges. However, I do have cartridges, but I use them for testing purposes, so I had to remove them from the printer. But I do have the paper uh, showing you that the printer does work. And I'm going to get to it right now. I'm going to show you right here. Uh, before I remove the print cartridges, this is what we got. Um, I guess it's kind of like a test page here. All right, an alignment page. And these will be going to you if you are the lucky bidder. I should say lucky buyer, I'm sorry. Um, this is just to show you that the printer does work. Okay. That's what was on the printer. Came off the printer, I should say. And I believe this is the alignment test. I think I did two alignment tests here. Okay. Oh, one might have been, um, that's right, one was a copy. I printed out, I printed I printed out the alignment test, uh, alignment page, and I used it to make a copy. So that's why there's two here. I'm sorry. I was wondering why it's like that. Yeah. I put this on a scanner and I made a copy out of it. So you will be getting these papers with it as well, as well, you know, along with it. Um, let me put that aside. Um, I'm not going to be able to print out any papers because the, like I said, the printer does not have cartridges. But I'm going to show you from start to finish uh, that it does scan and it does scan on my system. I'm using a Windows operating system, Windows 10, um, and I'm going to show you that there in the system setup, uh, and I'm going to show you also in the devices that the uh, Windows 10 operating system does recognize the printer even without the software, the uh, installation disk. Okay. Uh, the reason why I got this here is I'm going to show you a, a color scan, and uh, I'm just going to show you a regular scan too. Okay. I'm going to use that paper I took earlier. Okay. I'm going to use this one here. I'm going to scan in. So we'll take it from there. Now I'm going to point the printer. I'm going to point my. I should say the webcam down. To show you right from start to finish, then I'm going to split screen the, uh, th th you know, the uh, computer here, the screen, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so right now I'm going to move the webcam down. Okay, there we go, folks. And this is just basically to show you that the, uh, the printer does work. All right, here we have the printer right here. Let me just point it out. Um, this printer is new, like I said, is clean all the way around, as you can see. All right, it's white, of course. Sorry, folks, I'm trying to pivot this printer without it drop, drop, dropping on me. Okay, as you can see, it's nice and clean, new. Okay, um, let me just move this over here. The paper is still in there from when it was purchased. Okay. Okay. Now you got the uh, nice clean glass. Here's the control panel here. Here's where the paper goes in. The paper feed, I believe, is the paper. Feed. Yeah, it goes in this way and it comes out of here. This tray pops out, as you can see. Okay. Um, to install the cartridges, you lift up and it locks. This is the locking mechanism here. You have to do it on the on position. So when you turn it on, the print carriage will slide over here, and then you're removing your. You'll be inserting your uh, cartridges. It takes two, a black one and a color one. When you will finish putting the cartridges in, you just move, pick it up a little, push in, and just drop it down. I'm going to show you this from start to finish. I'm going to plug it in. Like I said, I can't do any 
test you know, printing with it because I don't have the cartridge in there. I had to remove them. So included with this, I'm um, including this uh, universal power, uh, universal cord printer cable that goes with it. And of course, you're getting your AC power adapter that comes with it. Now, I'm going to just untie this here. Try to do this quick as possible. The reason why I do these videos, folks, is to show people that the item that they're, you know, that you're interested in buying does work, and it's not going to arrive on your at your house or your place of business, you know, non-functional. So uh, that's why I do these videos, and uh, it also I feel that it also helps out the buyer make a better buying decision, you know, in regards to, uh, you know, getting what you're getting, you know. I want to make sure it works, so that's why I do these videos. But anyway, I'm going to plug it in. I got a adapter here, extension cord, there's the power adapter, as you can see it works, that plugs in right back here, and you're going to hear an audible sound folks when I plug the, uh, well I, I'm going to use the printer cable from my computer, I mean uh, from my printer, I'm going to plug it in here, you're going to see it'll make an audible sound, that's how you're going to know it's connecting, like I said I have no software installation disk, and I have no um, user guides with this here. There's no original packaging with it. But it does connect to the computer, and you'll see that. So it goes over here. Like that. Okay. I'm using my USB printer cable for demo purposes. And that goes right over here. Okay. Okay. Now you heard that. Now, with that in mind, you know that it made a connection with the computer, so you know it works. Again, I don't have any software uh, installation disk with this here, so uh, what you're seeing here is live, and you're going to see it work from pretty much start to finish. I can only do the scanning part of it. I can't do the printing part, but like I said again, um, it, uh, it, it did print because that's how I got these colors out of here. These, these, these papers that you see here, I'm sorry, folks, the papers that you see here, came off this printer okay just to let you know so you're going to be getting these I and there's no need for me to keep them I do I use this here for de testing purposes <coughs> excuse me <coughs> okay now <coughs> I'm going to show you that it does work um, it's saying over here in a message you can't see because the webcam is kind of like blinding it out here you know it's too much glare it's saying over here install both printer cartridges okay but we're gonna override that that we're gonna bypass that we're gonna hit the cancel here now we're in a copy mode okay I can't do again I can't do a copy because I've already done it with those with the copies that you see I already did that there and not only that the fact of the matter is that there's no print cartridges in here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pan over here at this arrow key where it says uh, mode scan and I'm gonna it tells you over here scan menu and you want it scan it in color Okay, and then you move it over here, you know, hit the next button. Well, you can go black or color, so we're going to go color, and we're going to say save. Okay, so now we're going to back out of that, and now we're going to go scan. Let me go back up here, I'm sorry. It's over here. Okay, scan mode, fax, maintenance, we don't want that. Okay, we want to go scan, and we want to move it over here. Scan 2. Okay, it's going to say downloading. Um, saying downloading applications list now I don't know what that's all about but I'm not gonna do it that way I'm gonna show you so I don't take too much of your time I'm gonna open up the, the cover over here I want to start off with the color one here the color this one here okay we're gonna do this one here so you put up here and you line it right there and this is live folks which is good because you're seeing it in action and you know when you get it it's your place of business or home that you know it's gonna arrive and it's gonna work that's why I do these live demos here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split screen it. <clears throat> and I'm going to, if you watch what I'm doing over here on the screen, folks, I'm going to go over here. It says device printers. Okay. Now, if you look over here, you could see it, 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 it attached Dell Photo 926. Okay. Now, this is how I'm getting to print. Um, because I don't have the uh, all the setup configurations, I'm going to do it this way, and you'll see what I'm talking about.
Okay. See over here, it says scan document. All right. And the picture they put in here, the printer looks a little different, of course. <clears throat> okay. See over here, it says scan a document or a picture. Okay. So you click that on. This is to show you that it's, you know, it's initialized with my computer and it's connected. And, you know, that everything is, you know, copacetic, it works. Okay. So here we go. Here it is again, scanner, Dell Photo, 926. What you're going to do is, this is, for, this is for demo purposes, to show you that it does work. I'm going to click scan on there. And you can hear a little noise working here. Let me kill that background sound. I'm sorry for the delay, folks. Um, takes a little time. But I, I, I feel that it's very important that you guys get to see the printer in action and see it actually working, you know. You know what? I don't know if I'm even going to bother doing this one here, but eh, I, why not? I guess I could show it to you. I was going to say I don't want to take too much of your time off, people, but okay. Okay, still scanning. Okay, you see over here it says review, organize, group, items import. You're going to click next. And I want to show you the quality of the print. Whoops. All right, I don't know if I hit the wrong key there. <laughs> All right. And it's going to open up another window. Hopefully you're seeing the same things I'm seeing, folks. I hope. <laughs> and here you go. Um, you have it right here we'll rotate the picture so you can see a little better if uh, my computer there we go whoops I rotated too quick and that's what it looks like folks so you see it does work I mean that's a live. this is a live demo video so you know this is uh, you know you've seen in action so I'm gonna close out that there and I, rather than do the other scan I mean it's basically the same thing so I, I don't want to waste too much of your time I'm just gonna close this window out here and I'm going to go back and show you that this does, I'm using a, an HP Pavilion uh, computer with the Windows operating system, Windows 10. And again, you can see it does connect. It automatically connected because, like I said, I don't have software drivers. So if you are using Windows 10 operating system, uh, this printer will connect to it. Okay. So let me go back out. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here to system. And this is just to prove to you guys that it is working on an operating uh, operating Windows 10 system, uh, Windows operating system Windows 10. Okay, so here we go. Here it is, Windows Edition, Windows 10, 2016 processor. How much HP Pavilion? Okay, so you see it does work. Okay, it is connected, and uh, that's basically all there is to it. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else to tell you about it. I did mention that it does not come with software installation disk, and it does not come with a user guide. Uh, it doesn't have original packaging. You are going to be getting, with this printer, the uh, printer cable and AC power adapter. If there's any additional information you need, folks, about this printer, please email me at rjpassini at verizon.net, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. As you can see, the printer does work. Um, you will need two cartridges to go with it. Um, my suggestion, if you are going to get non-branded, now if you put the branded ones in here, like the genuine Dell uh, print cartridges, you should have no problem with it. Um, on the other hand, if you buy non-branded Dell, um, you might have a little configuration situation you got to deal with. Uh, to for, in, other, in other words, in order for the non-branded cartridges to be initialized in a printer you might have to go through a few steps um, I have an HP 7520 and I buy non-branded cartridges for my uh, computer uh, print I should say and because they're non-branded uh, the system doesn't always recognize it and doesn't initial it pro initialize it properly so what I had to do the instructions they told me uh, actually I pulled them off the uh, website uh, Google I googled it and I pulled it off a website and what they said is take the print carriage head out, clean the contacts, reinsert it back in, and then clean the contacts on the print cartridges and reinsert them. 
power it off, power it back on again, you might get that error. I had to do it I think two or three times, and then on the third time, it initialized it and everything worked fine. Now, I don't know about this printer. It, like I said, it's new. I'm not going to play around with it. Um, I did put the genuine cartridges in here, and everything synced up okay. Now, if you get it, you might have to, you know, you might have to go through a little configuration with it. If you're using the branded ones, it shouldn't be a problem. That's all I can say. Um, if you do put cartridges in, please don't think the printer is, you know, defective. It's not working. It does work. It's been tested. I printed these things, these pages you see here on it. I printed them out on this printer. Okay. I printed this here, the alignment page. I scanned and made a photocopy. Okay, that's what this is, scan and a photocopy. And I also printed up this one here. Okay, now these all came off the printer. All right, I wish I could show you the live ones, but like I said, I, I've already done it. I don't want to keep redoing the same thing, waste ink and stuff like that, because I use those cartridges to test other printers out, you know, make sure they work. Um, that's basically it. Well, I could tell you about it. Uh, you do have the sliding tray here that comes out here as you can see you get the sliding tray comes out oops all right there is where you put your paper of course all right that pops up you put your paper in there you got memory cards here that you know uh slots here okay this is for let's see what this is here pick bridge oh, let's see, let's see here i guess you put something in some kind of a cable in there i'm not really sure i'm not too familiar with the uh with the dells uh, as far as printer wise, I have, like I said, I have HPs and I have a brother printer, a laser printer. So, but this is what you got on here. And again, um, if you have any questions, please email me at rjpassini at verizon.net and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions you have. Um, if you like the videos and you want to be updated on, uh, sometimes I get new items, I do sneak peek videos. Um, the, how that works is when I, kick, I pick up the items that day, I'll come back to the location here do a video on it, uh, you know, of, of telling you guys what's going on, you know, going to be on eBay, and it goes on usually the following day. I do that there to give you guys kind of like a heads up and a first come, first serve basis. If, you know, that's if you're interested in any of the items I'm selling. If not, well, then that's fine too. But I just thought I'd give you guys a heads up and throw it out there. Um, and that's basically it. Uh, I don't have anything else to uh, talk to you about at this point, but if you have any questions or comments or whatever, uh, please let me know and uh, if you like if you like what I do with these videos uh, Please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you again. I hope this helps um, If there's anything I left out, I apologize, but for the most part I try to be pretty thorough in what I do um, When it comes to making demo and intro videos, so if I forgot anything folks, I'm sorry But uh, I think this is much everything and I think I covered everything about this printer if you need anything Please don't hesitate to email me Thank you very much, and you have a great day now. Talk to you soon. Bye.